still data will be there in the device right in, in in the device data will be there okay even power is off that is a non volatile memory so of course your hard disk is is also a non volatile memory type it is a magnetic media but not like a tape drives it's not a like a direct uh, tape drives type it is not there it is it in, works in a different pattern so this is the internal uh, uh, part of a uh, hard disk guys so there is a plotter the round disk one is called a plotter okay the round disk one is then a disk that is a plotter it is uh, basically some aluminium alloy based material only coated with a magnetic as there is a something needle is there no that is a acuter arm uh, okay it moves inside to outside so then we can able to read and write on the disk there is a read and write header is there at the tip of that arm and there is you can see here it is a permanent magnet uh, in a base of that arm you can see the permanent magnet so based on your reading reading writing movements from that one only of course there is a data cable connected to the logical board okay so this is internal structure of hard disk okay but this hard disk is going to connected this hard disk is connected to your motherboard right hard disk will be connected to motherboard right for a data transmission power connection for a msps but data transmission from motherboard to hard disk hard disk to motherboard right to connect it we use a, a certain logical boards logic boards hard disk contains a logic board so i will put a regular hard disk so these are all hard disk uh, parts only you can see plotters uh, acuter axis acuter uh, spindle motor acuter arm read and write headers and all so we need a flip part of it means back side of hard disk logic board okay so like this can you see this is the logic board the circuit board which is attached to this hard disk okay so when we are connecting your uh, hard disk to motherboard okay so you can get a this connector type okay so based on this not only based on this guys internal mechanism and as well as external read and write mechanism okay so we have a hard disk in a different type you know earlier days we have a ide type of hard disk of course on our motherboard there is a different terminologies people people keep changing that part so that's why the terminology is become a confusion so we have a ide uh, base mechanism to connect and uh, transfer data to the uh, uh, hard disk earlier days it is a 80 pin connector later it is a 40 pin connector so why 40 pin because this ide develop into ata technology advanced technology attachment ide integrated drive electronics development environment development integrated development environment is belongs to software development kind of stuff like um, eclipse okay apache uh, uh, netbeans okay those are uh, and those are uh, um comes under uh, development environment software development environment or uh, uh, some um, simulators kind of stuff this is device electronics integrated device electronics 
that is IDE, that IDE technology develop into ATA, advanced technology attachment. In that one, we have a parallel communication, so parallel ATA, PATA type of connector is there. So motherboard to hard disk connector, it is a 40 pin ribbon cable. So we use the ribbon cable to connect your hard disk to motherboard. The connector is a 40 pin. And another technology came later that is called a SATA. Serial advanced technology attachment. It is a seven pin connector. It's a single wire type connector it is. is there. SATA is a faster than PATA. So if you want complete details, then you can search like uh, what is a PATA versions and what is their speed, what are the SATA versions. Guys, when SATA came, uh, uh, when SATA came into market, the PATA is not further developed. So obviously PATA is become older. So now we are using SATA based communication, SATA and SATA 3 connector will give you up to 6 Gbps connection. 6 Gbps data transmission. OK, this is a IDE hard disk or a PATA. Now people are using these two are for, for same purpose. And it is IDE cables. This is a ribbon cable. This ribbon cable, one ribbon cable, we connect a two disk drives means two hard disk two cd rams or one hard disk one cd ram also we can able to uh, connect it okay so it is a ide cables are there this is a sata type of hard disk see this is a data cable connector see you can see the small one is a this part is a data table connector this is power connector in this diagram, it is a different type of SATA. It's uh, both connectors are there, but here it is. This is a data connector. So this kind of red red cable. It's a seven pin cable. OK, this is the data connector. This is the power connector. It consumes less power. SATA consumes less power compared to. Uh, uh, compared to uh, PATA, SATA consumes less power. SATA is a faster than PATA. You guys understand the connectivity? SATA, PATA. Hmm? SATA connector, PATA connector, how it is look like? So it is, it's a IDE type. Or a PATA connector. Okay, so this is a that the, I showed one picture, right? This is a PATA type of power connection. You can do it, or you can do SATA type of power connection. But this is a SATA data cable. Next, uh, one more. I didn't add that point. Here it is. What is happening? Said. I'm adding a new slide here. So for the development, it's a, it's a continuous uh, improvement kind of stuff. Okay. Internal hard disk. Internal means inside your PC. Internal hard disk. Okay. For a, so the, there is a 3.5 inch hard disk, 2.5 inch hard disk also there. Okay. Always keep it that in mind. It is we have a two, three point five inch hard disk, two point five inch hard disk is also there. I will show you in pictures. Okay, hard disk, three point five inch hard disk. See this <laughs> bigger one. This bigger one, like this size. Okay. 2.5 inch hard disk like this. It's a 2.5 inch hard disk. This is 3.5 inch hard disk. Um, it's 
so look at here uh, this is a uh, maybe i need a very easy to understand right here it is copy image this is the size manner but characters are same connectors are same power supply is different okay and that is enough okay but most probable what is the most probabilities like i can tell you here it is okay 3.5 inch hard disk is mainly for normal computers right uh, normal computers normal pcs okay just for a pc for a normal computer or a desktop desktops i will put a desktop 2.5 inches internal hard disk for laptops laptops or a mini pcs so that is a difference is there you know uh, the, uh, that's the small point i i want to add so check the size of the point okay but internal mechanism connectivity both are same only the size is a different okay size is uh, different so for your inside your laptop you have a 2.5 inch 2.5 inch hard disk okay external hard disk external hard disk directly case the hard disk only external hard disk drives to store your data or to store the backup data okay this is like this so if you want to store your backup or you want to store your uh, regular data like that you can able to store inside your external hard disk like you want to move the data from one place to another place you can use the external hard disk so that is point okay so lot of data is creating like you download lot of things uh, like uh, uh, movies pictures virtual machines like you materials okay a lot of uh, material we download right uh, we can say um right uh, people want i want to learn something like you know when i started uh, uh, like uh, searching for a ccna materials i start downloading lot of ccna related materials then ccnp then windows servers then linux then uh, uh, cloud then like just keep downloading <laughs> mm, kind of stuff i never watched it okay <laughs> i i slept so many times while watching that's why i don't watch it right okay? so um, even a night time also don't watch it okay then it's a full of data then what i have done so i purchase one external hard disk to reduce my uh, space in my laptop so i keep data into that in movies also now we have a lot of otts i have my own netflix my uh, we are all use my entire my family using one uh, amazon prime okay netflix amazon prime G5, uh, Sony Leo, Aha, oh ho, all uh, so many are there, right? So max to max, we are getting um, stuff. Okay, so enough of availability is there. So maybe we cannot able to see few things, but lot of availability is there. Then uh, what I am trying to say is, um, what I am trying to say is. Uh, earlier days we don't have that many facilities you have to go to torrents or you have to go to certain sites that to download a movie and watch it because no, always not available in theaters also lot of movies not available in theaters okay so um, then we download and watch right so lot of data is that to world movies it is very uh, old movies we can't uh, currently not available so then uh, obviously we download and uh, we'll keep it aside so what happen internal memory increases so to maintain your backups or additional data or any important data or heavy data heavy data we store into the external hard disk these external hard disk 
we don't require a sata pata kind of stuff internally it is a sata hard disk internally it is a sata hard disk but sata to usb conversion is there that this external hard disk this is direct external hard disk so if they maintain internal circuit to convert that sata to a, a kind of stuff okay but if you want to conversion your self conversion is there like a external hard disk uh, enclosure okay you go to these enclosures like you have a something like a, a 2.5 inch hard disk you have a 2.5 inch sata hard disk just you can insert that sata hard disk to this enclosure and you can connect to the simple data cable okay and you can transfer the data or if you have a ssd you have a ssd and you want to store data into this ssd you want to store data into uh, this ssd then what you will do very simple okay so uh, uh, it is see this is circuit die you can see this is a your sata ssd sata type of ssd you can insert your ssd inside and you can get connected okay like this some are uh, bigger bigger also there like you can uh, insert 3.5 inch uh, hard disk also we can able to insert it see this is the hard disk circuit from that one usb conversion this is about your external hard disk just before i showed direct external hard disk this is to convert internal hard disk to external hard disk see but <laughs> with uh, these enclosures uh, are uh, cost is this is 600 even i myself i purchase even i don't use this one for testing purpose so for my internal hard disk testing purpose i purchase this one like okay, i got lot of doubts when i convert when i am adding external hard disk i got a lot of doubts so then i for testing purpose i use it see this this is a cable this is a enclosure if you have a old laptop hard disk you can insert it here and you can start communicate okay or you can put a, a ssd is also inside different cost is there okay guys um external hard disk what is the use for backup for store regular data any regular data movies os like movies kind of stuff okay not for operating system and application like a, we can use it to store data basically which is not required to be in in to be in system in pc in your computer okay and uh, one more is there it is also better to use for to transfer heavy data to transfer kb data means large data large amount of like a 10 gb 20 gb 30 gb we can transfer it why because of external hard disk or not a, a 10 gb 20 gb or 16 gb man pen drive 32 gb pen drive it's not like that right so external hard disk are bigger the size so starts with a, i have a 320 gb hard disk okay i have a 320 gb hard disk then 1 terabyte then 2 terabyte i will write that one only 320 gb hard disk i have then i purchase 1 terabyte not a 500 gb also there 500 gb also there 
but I have one terabyte directly, then two terabyte, then two terabyte, okay, like that. Four terabyte, three terabyte, six terabyte external hard disk also there. Directly you can go to uh, internal hard disk components. Okay, guys, uh, this is uh, like a Amazon is a e-commerce website. To understand lot of computer related also, uh, um, this is very helpful because in a market you can't go to, you know, earlier days I told to people go to market and uh, search on a market. So what kind of components, what kind of stuff is there? That is very easy to get it. See it is, this is an external hard disk. It is a 500 GB external hard disk. One terabyte. Yeah, this is SSD, SSD type. Waste. <laughs> it's one, one terabyte, 10,000 rupees. That much fast we don't require. So these are, uh, uh, we said components, then go to any external hard disk kind of stuff. Internal hard disk, external hard disk. Or we'll directly search. Now these are a uh, see it is internal hard disk. So this is a very intelligent, uh, no? so it whatever we ask that is not showing. So it is showing this kind of stuff, unnecessary stuff. Then we'll get irritated, then we'll purchase another thing. Remaining it is showing as uh, advertisements. And when I'm trying to search for a hard disk, it is showing SSD hard disk. Okay. See this. 1.5 terabytes elements. It is a uh, cheaper in a Western digital uh, company. So elements is a cheaper external hard disk. Okay. F portable and cheaper. So it is 1.5, 1 terabyte, 2 terabyte you are getting 5,000. Earlier it is uh, more than 6,000. That is 5,000 you are getting 2 terabyte of hard disk. 1 or 2, that is enough. 1 or 2, you can take anything, depends upon your requirement. Yeah, that is enough of uh, story, guys. Because I want to go to other points. Yeah, that is enough. Guys, uh, look at here. You have a hard disk. So up to now, I talk about external hard disk, but now we'll come back to the normal hard disk. Okay. So you have a hard disk. In a hard disk, go to disk management, D-I-S-K, M-G-M-T dot M-S-C. I'm going to disk management, D-I-S-K, M-G-M-T dot M-S-C. So I'm opening this disk management. Okay, you have a hard disk. For example, you have a 500 GB hard disk. Okay, you have a 500 GB hard disk or one terabyte of hard disk or two terabyte of hard disk. In generally, in our Windows system, the first partition is C drive. Okay, depends upon your requirement. For example, okay. I, I'm giving 100 GB for C drive. And first drive is our operating system drive. Okay, so for operating system, you are giving 100 GB. Next, I'm giving something like a, a 50 GB or 20 GB. So this is a D drive. For example, this is a 50 GB for a, some personal means um basic drivers applications to store some applications my system related uh, uh, installation applications drivers means driver applications like that for files certain important files kind of stuff download it i will put it in a separate then i will make uh, one more drive so for a 
I want another drive to store my um, video files. Okay, my classroom material, videos, okay, all, all kind of stuff, uh, or movies, whatever it is, so video files, music files. Okay, you can see my drives like this. So it is my operating system drive. C drive is my operating system drive. Okay. And next to D drive, it D drive contains some small, small applications, mainly this piece is drivers, <laughs> drivers. Okay. If in case yeah, I, if I, any drivers are not working, I have to remove and reinstall. And of course I copied some games and uh, some personal uh, one or two kind of stuff. Okay. So this is waste. This is E drive. E drive contains our class related uh, uh, files. Now it is not creating earlier days, you know, each and every class. So we have a video and as well as a text files. Okay. So because that time I write all the class where what are I'm taking the class, I'll put, I'll put it in a text file only. See like this. Okay. Now I'm showing is slides directly. So less on the text. Okay. And uh, I record my recording is different. So that's why these are uh, files showing uh, these kind of records. It is each class is recorded. Okay. Uh, using a Google recorder that is so that recorded files also there here. Enter class records. Now it is directly uploaded to YouTube. I'm not storing the records much in inside. Okay, so this is a entire basically class related. Okay, F drive is a it's a entirely maximum my personal related files. Okay, banking or anything. So mostly my, my required uh, files only my my personal files. This is if whenever I download any operating system, I put it in this particular folder operating system folder. Okay, or uh, when I download any application that will be in an app folder and other few other uh, information also available. Okay. And eDrive is also for a project file is there like I, when I practice like when I teach uh, Python, Java or anything. So it will be stored in a one separate folder. Also, it is program files for uh, some games also. So G drive also contains a Oracle application in this one. This is the Oracle application. Also, I installed in the G drive. H drive is completely for a uh, virtual machines. These are all for a virtual machines only. I have to delete lot of virtual machines to save the my disk space. It's a more than 500 GB, 531 GB. After that one, I got only 43 GB. OK, guys. So this is when you have an hard days, you can create a partitions. You can create a partitions for a different purposes. Instead of keeping everything in one single space, you have to create a partitions for a separating a data, storing a data based on that type of data into separate partitions. Understand guys why we need a partitions? What is a partition is a logically dividing the storage space of hard disk into separate areas commonly called as partitions or a drivers. Okay, so we are logically dividing your hard disk space into small, small drivers. Guys understand first point partitioning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Very good. Okay. So in this partitioning, there is a two styles are there. One is EMBR style. Another one is GPT style. Okay. What is this MBR and GPT style? So whenever you insert a hard disk, your system will ask you 
which type of hard disk guys in this one two scenarios are there one is you have taken a fresh pc okay you purchase a new computer you build a new computer no os nothing this fresh pc having a fresh hard disk right no os means hard disk is also very fresh okay so in this one again two scenarios try to understand simple okay you have your motherboard right and you are having a your bios chip you are using a bios chip your version is bios version your rom chip version is bios you are using and you are using a hard disk this is my hard disk this is the bios chip and um, any operating system you are trying to install for a first time we are installing operating system hard disk is not at initialized as a mbr or gpt it is not at mbr type or a gpt it is not mbr it is not a gpt type okay so depends upon what so you are while you are installing an operating system you are using bios pure bios version okay it is a only bios it is a bios type of framework and you are trying to install operating system your hard disk will be initialized as a mbr so you are in try to install operating system okay so your operating system initialize this automatically as a mbr type of disk because you are using bios second second scenario if in case this is uefi so you are using bios and it is recognized as a mbr automatically so you are not defining anything second second so this is the first part one two part in that one okay so you are using uefi your framework is uefi framework and uh, you are installing operating system latest os like a windows 8 8.1 or windows 10 or windows 11 or a linux in a enterprise linux type like a red hat enterprise linux and os 7 8 and next versions like that so you are installing any recent uh, latest uh, uefi supported operating systems and your hard disk is recognized automatically as a gpt automatically recognized as a gpt okay so your hard disk will be either it is uef either gpt or mbr based on your bios or uefi and based on your operating system bios means it's a only bios means any operating system whether latest or old operating system your your hard disk will be initialized as a mbr okay and if you are using uefi and you are try to install operating system that to latest uefi supported operating system you have to install uefi supported operating system your hard disk will be initialized as a gpt this is first part second part when you are inserting a new hard disk <coughs> okay already hard disk is there now fresh hard disk you are inserted fresh hard disk you are inserted you purchase a new hard disk a secondary hard disk you are inserted or virtual hard disk you are inserted and it system will ask initialize the disk <coughs> initialize the disk that time you have to initialize either mbr or gpt i will show you that one also somewhere it is located here it is see i inserted a new hard disk in bottom you can see disk 2 in bottom you can see disk 2 that is it is asking so when i click on that disk 2 it is not initialize initialize as a mbr or a gpt mbr means master boot record 
GPT GUID partition table. MBR master board record GPT GUID partition table. Okay. So again, so what if I initialize as a MBR? What if it is initialized as a MBR? What it is there? So that is we will see first. Here it is. This is the hard disk and it is initialized as a MBR hard disk. In this one, you can create generally four primary partitions maximum, four primary partitions. Okay, I create a first partition is primary, second partition is primary, and third partition also primary, fourth is primary. For example, this is 100. This is 50, 50, maybe this is a something like a 40, for example, or maybe 100. So you can take one, 100 like this. So how much it is? Out of 500 GB, for example, this is 500 GB. I have taken uh, uh, 300. I used 300, 100 plus 100 plus 50 plus 50, right? It is a 300 GB hard disk, 300 GB. So 200 GB left over. This 200 GB become unallocated. This is become unallocated. No one is using this. You cannot create any primary or a extended partitions. You cannot create anything. It is wasted. So what to do? What to do? You have to make it this entire one partition as a single one or you have to delete all the partitions and make it as a separate one like you take it as a 150 150 300 plus 100 400 and take 100 so it is like that or 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 200 or a 200 100 100 plus 100 you can take this is 200 and this is 100 100 100 so it is like you have to adjust according to your total size, but you cannot create a more than this for primaries. That is old days. That is olden days. But from Windows 7 onwards, it is not like that, guys. Okay. So when you completed to create three primary, in a olden days also, once you are completed, three primaries so you you can create up to four primary partitions or you can create three primary plus one extended okay one extended even in a xp also the primary fourth primary automatically disables you cannot create four primaries you will create only three primary and fourth one become a extended partition Fourth one become a extended partition like this. Or uh, it is the color is different. Uh, I, I choose different color. Okay, extended partition. I, I choose something like uh, for our understanding. I putting a, a green color because the blue color represent uh, um, um, primary partitions. Okay, so like this. This is the primary partition. Okay, this is the primary partition. This is the primary partition. Like it's represent, it's a primary partition. I will show you that one anyway. Guys, what is this? Just for understanding separation, this is uh, your extended partition. This is your extended partition. So this is primary, primary, primary extended partition in the extended partition you can create a logical drives multiple logical drives you can able to create it one second someone give me sirtas also okay no problem
ओके लॉजिकल 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 पार्टीशन ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट ट्वेंटी जी बी और मे बी आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट फिफ्टी जी बी आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट टेन जी बी डिपेंड्स अपॉन द लेफ्ट और स्पेस लाइक ए हंड्रेड फिफ्टी फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड कंप्लीटेड सो मई एक्सटेंडेड पार्टीशन इज थ्री हंड्रेड जी बी इन थ्री हंड्रेड जी बी आई कैन क्रिएट हाउ मेनी पार्टीशन आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट I can create that many partitions up to 300 GB space. So these are the logical partition. Again, guys, we can create three primary, one extended. In extended, we can create a multiple logical drives. Okay, this also called as logical partition, or better to say it is logical drives. Logical drives we can able to create it. Okay. Understand what is MBR? See, these are the partitions. These are the partitions. All are primary partitions. All are primary partitions, of course. Okay. So, can you see? This is my disk one. Right click, convert it to GPT. Convert into GPT. Meaning is, disk one is a MBR disk. And can you see? This is the primary partition. primary and this is also a primary three primary completed for example still i have a space for example still if in case if i have a space um i'll take uh, 40 gb 4096 gb Okay, see it is see three primary completed. I have a, some unallocated space. I have a, some unallocated space. Okay, so here it is. I want to create a primary here. I cannot create once three primary completed. The fourth one, the entire forty GB become extended partition. So guys, I am going to create a some ten GB drive. I am creating ten zero. So 10 GB means 10241024 means 10 GB NTFS partition quick format finish. Okay, 10 GB. So see there is a green border. You can see the there is a thick green border. the thick green border means extended partition the it is free space 30 gb this is a thick blue is a primary light blue it is a logical drive so this is my 10 gb logical drive so it is primary partition logical drive and this is the free space this 10 gb you can create another gb like a, I, i want to create something um uh maybe a uh, 5 gb 4 gb 96 just 4 gb drive i am creating see it is it is also a logical drive so you can see this pc so j drive it's a 4 gb drive i drive is a 10 gb drive i created a hard partitions so once three primary completed we will create a extended so that in extended it is a logical drives only in generally from windows 7 onwards you no need to create extended partition separately when you are trying to create a logical partition when you are creating when you are trying to create a partition the it will check already three primary completed then it make remaining entire space it make remaining entire space as a extended partition in that extended partition you can create a logical partition okay guys i don't i think everybody got bored no problem no. guys in mbr each partition maximum support is 2 terabyte only okay single partition i am taken it 100 gb here 50 here 20 here 10 okay i have taken very less but thing is if you have a very big hard disk for example you have a 8 terabyte of hard disk is there 
or 4 terabyte of hard disk is there. You take in a 8 terabyte of hard disk. So you are creating a partition. So you got a lot of chance to create more than 2 terabyte, right? So I creating a 2 terabyte of partition. Good. You are creating 2.5 terabyte. No, it won't accept. One second, guys. Babin. Uh. Okay. So if you take more than 2 terabyte, it won't work. Okay, you take 4 terabyte, you take 3.5 terabyte, it won't work. So maximum support for a partition is 2 terabyte. Maximum primary partitions are 3, 4 primary partitions, but <clears throat> if you want more partitions, then we have to take only 3 primary and the remaining unallocated as a, a one extended. In the extended, we can create a logical drives. Okay. I think everybody sleeping or completely bored out of mind. <laughs> sure. Sir, what is the maximum limit for extended session? Extended memory. What is the maximum limit of? Extended. Extended. Maximum limit of extended. Uh, uh, practically, uh, uh, also different. Okay, practically we can't say that one. But in a extended is not a partition. It is just that extended only means you completed once. You are completed three primaries, and you are creating one more partition. You completed first partition in generally from Windows 7 onwards. By default, it will take first partition as a primary. Second partition you are creating, that is also primary. Third is also automatically primary. But when you are creating fourth partition, so it does not take fourth partition as a primary. It will take the entire remaining space, entire remaining unallocated space, entire remaining unallocated space as a extended partition. So whether it is more than two terabyte also, it may accept. Okay, more than two terabyte of ex no, okay. extended partition also, maybe it will accept because we are creating a logical partition. Even for a logical partition also, each partition is two terabyte only. Okay. Okay, each no, logical okay. partition is also two terabyte. Maximum. Very good, very good. Good question. Okay, in GPT, GUID partition table, GPT, GUID partition table, it we can create 128 partitions, primary partitions. Okay, so no extended, no logical, no extended, no logical requirement, direct 128 partitions. Like this, you can create primary, create partitions. No need to worry about what is extended, what is logical, what is primary and all. Directly we can create 128 partitions. Okay, and each partition size. The maximum support of the partition size, you know, more than 2 terabyte. It supported 2 terabyte, more than 2 terabyte. Almost like a 18 EB. Okay, maximum. 18 EB, it support 18 EB. So it support more than 2 terabyte, it's like a 18 EB. Okay, so this is about MBR and GPT style. Okay, so uh, I will show you that uh, point also here. Here it is MBR GPT. So uh, it is a partition style. When you are inserting a new hard disk, it will ask initialize the disk as a MBR or GPT. And depends upon like you are when you take a fresh system, 
when you take a fresh system and based on your motherboard the bios uh thing okay so you are you are using a bios okay it is a fresh system your hard disk is not a mbr type or gpt type so you are using a bios your operating system uh while we are installing operating system so your operating system uh, installs that automatically as a mbr if you are using uefi and your operating system is the latest versions means windows 8 windows 10 windows 11 or centos 7 centos 8 centos means linux linux red hat linux okay red hat enterprise linux 7 red hat enterprise linux 8 so depends upon the operating system supporting to uefi okay uefi supported operating systems and uefi framework so your hard disk by default it is a gpt okay next see here it is already written mbr master boot record for primary partitions we can able to create that to all and as we have a disk management kind of stuff later on days we create a three primaries you know up to windows xp you have a choice like you want to create one primary created from second onwards you create extended there you can create a logical partitions now we don't have that choice you create you create a partition first three partitions automatically primary partitions the fourth one become uh, the fourth one become logical drive in the entire extended partition the four once you completed three primary while you are creating four partition you created a partitions three partitions you created first three partitions are primary partitions by default nowadays means windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 first three partitions automatically a prime primary partitions when you creating a fourth partition the entire remaining unallocated space become extended partition the fourth partition is a logical drive in the extended partition each partition support each partition maximum 2 terabyte of partition we can able to create it gpt GUID partition table 128 primary partitions we can able to create it no extended no logical requirement it more than 2 terabytes of support is there 2 terabyte less than 2 terabyte more than 2 terabyte and maximum up to 18 EB terabytes extra byte or something is there you can search it MB megabyte KB kilobyte MB megabyte kb kilobyte um first of all uh, byte kilobyte megabyte gigabyte terabyte okay tb means terabyte uh, next one is uh, petabyte zettabyte extra byte terabyte terabyte it is okay in this example i try to show the people like a, a, a how to add a virtual hard disk and then when you add a hard disk it will ask initialize the disk is it mbr type or a gpt type that's it okay this is about mbr and gpt next one is partitions already i showed how to create a partition guys this is part now i don't require this partition no more so i am going to delete these partitions unnecessary like new, newly created partitions only guys don't do it because uh, i'm you don't have any practical review or okay you are not don't try on your physical machines okay this is also i am deleting this see extended partition nothing is there no partitions inside just it is borderline is extended that's it free space no partitions three primary one extended in this extended i am creating a partition for example 2 gb partition just 2 gb partition okay so that's the meaning three primary one extended in that one i created a 2 gb 
partition. Yeah, I need this 40 GB. That's why I'm deleting. Okay. Uh, so this is a H drive. This is unallocated. I can add this 40 GB to H drive. I can't add this 40 GB to E drive or G drive. Okay. So I can add 40 to H. So go to H, extend volume, finish. I'm adding entire 40 GB to H drive. Okay. Guys, this is the disk zero. Disk zero is showing convert into MBR means disk zero is a GPT drive. GPT drive. So can you see this is a recovery partition, EFI partition, blue color means primary partition. See? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 partitions are there, 8 are in a same blue color only, like this. Okay? Like this. Meaning is, it's a GPT, 128 primary partitions, like 128 straight similar part partitions I can able to create it without any extended or a logical drives. Okay? I have already, but Working one is CFD. CFD only uh, I'm using here, but remaining is are a recovery purpose, health purpose, okay, uh, uh, kind of stuff, partitions. They don't have drive letters, but still there are a drives only. It contains the data inside. We can't access because it does not contain any drive letter. Without drive letter, okay. So we'll see that one later, okay. That is separate. See guys, three drives are there plus additional drives also there. Okay, additional drives also there. Meaning is, it's a ZPT partition. Okay, uh, that is um, what point here it is. So you created a partition. You created a partition. Okay. Uh, last one I will tell you. To show you which one is MBR, which one is GPT, I am using a PowerShell is better option for showing that one. See, it is a disk zero. Disk zero is a 500 GB hard disk and it is a GPT style. Partition style is GPT style. And this one terabyte of hard disk is a MBR style. Disk one is MBR style. That's why when you see this, when I created a additional part, partition automatically extended logical kind of stuff is created. But if you are see in disk zero GPT, we have multiple days, but still we are having, we are not having any logical kind of stuff. Up to here, okay guys, MBR GPT. I, this is lot of time taking today. Even uh, I'm not taking more time, but disturbance uh, somewhere someone is outside cleaning disturbance guys understand up to here mbr gpt yes sir okay mm, look at here this is um, when i when we create a partition, so when we are creating a partition, okay, so it is asked which file system you want to create, which file system. What is this file system? When you are creating a partition, when you are creating a partition, it is asked like a um, what file system you want to use, okay. So what is this file system? I have a partition. And it is asking, is a FTP or NTP? What is FTP? Uh, mind this. Okay. Which file system you want to use in this partition or maybe in this drive, in the pen drive, in the memory card? <laughs> you are using memory card, right? You are having a memory card, pen drive, hard disk, hard disk partition.
pen drive memory cards okay uh, your cd ram your hard disk your ssd you have to store the data in it to store the data we have to define the file system okay we have to define the file system you know what is defining file system kind of stuff it's called a format you have to format with the file system lot of people think format lot of people means lot more people think format means removing data okay removing data but in the process of formatting data may loss data may loss but format does not mean removing data format means defining a file system or redefining the file system in windows generally we are using fat and ntfs file system and mainly ntfs we are using fat we use voltage but not now still option is there but not using any ntfs any fat we are not using much what we are using ntfs but fat is used for uh, your memory cards pen drives fat file system is there okay different devices okay we are using what so fat file file system file allocation table fat file allocation table file system it supports up to 32 gb of partition size size of the partition is 32 gb or 32 gb pen drive per 32 gb memory card 32 gb hard disk partition it support hard disk partition is 32 gb maximum means fat 32 there is a fat fat 32 two are there fat support 4 gb fat 32 support <coughs> 32 gb partition in fat file system we cannot store big files we cannot store big files like a 1 gb 2 gb files you cannot store okay so next one is ntfs new technology file system the partition size is more than 2 terabyte more than 2 terabyte of partition size it supports maximum 18 eb okay also possible less than 2 terabyte more than 2 terabyte and uh, up to 2 terabyte or um, kind of stuff it is support ntfs having certain features like this you can see ntfs features from here the i drive is a ntfs and j drive is fat32 both are 2 gb hard disk both are 2 gb hard disk so what are the differences you can see here it is compress that compress this drive to the save the disk available in the ntfs not in the fat okay indexing in the ntfs is there in ntfs we have a compression indexed and you can see the tabs tab differences also like its general tools hardware sharing customized quota previous versions and security in j drive you can see general tools hardware sharing customized previous versions what is the difference in this one we have a security and quota that missing in j drive in a bottom in a i drive you can see compressed this drive and indexed option so it means allow file on this drive to contains index in addition to file properties index option it is that is also missing here so you can directly tell ntfs support ntfs support security encryption compression quota and indexing so these are the features of ntfs we are all using ntfs security does not mean virus or antivirus lot of people think security means it's a virus kind of stuff antivirus related no no guys security means read and write access okay read and write access permissions to the uh, users okay so allow or deny 
read or write access or allow or deny access permissions or read and write access on the documents or uh, yellow or deny access permissions allow or deny access permissions is a security permissions encrypt the data so then other people cannot able to access without encryption key compress the data so then we can save the data uh, space on the disk quota quota means uh, yellow user to access store the data in the disk but limited space only like i, I have a a uh, one terabyte of free disk partition size is there. This okay, total size is one terabyte. I allow user to store the data only 20 GB, not more than it. That is quota. Indexing index the data so then it is easy to search data. Uh, okay, from system. Okay. Next type of part, uh, partition ex facts. What is ex fact? FAT file system generally used for uh, memory cards and pen drives. Why? Because of different operating systems like uh, Android, Linux, Unix operating systems support FAT cannot support NTFS. So what we will do it? So we use FAT file system for memory cards and pen drives also. But there is a problem. What is nowadays memory cards are more than 32 GB earlier days. 1 GB or 2 GB, even we fight like why you stolen my 2 GB, 1 GB, uh, 500 MB, 100 MB <laughs> uh, memory cards. So, uh, by uh, it support uh, more than 2 tera, uh, 2 GB, uh, please give me uh, 2 GB memory card. So, we have to take uh, secretly money or maybe you have to save some money to buy 2 GB memory card, 1 GB memory card. Okay, so like you are a kings if you have more. Like a 4 GB memory card means you are a great person already. Your 2 GB memory card, you are a um, very great person. Okay. So nowadays, internal memory is high, external memory is also high. Right. So even I purchase 128 GB, 256 GB, also I purchased it. Okay. So do not worry. 64 GB, 128 GB, um, 256 GB, 512 GB and uh, one terabyte two terabyte size of memory cards also available in the market and supporting hardware is there mobile phones and as well as uh, tablets okay two terabyte up to two terabyte you can store the data so that is memory cards are available but the memory cards are uh, your fat file system supporting 32 gb Next fact, we cannot store big files like you download a, a movie, some Blu-ray movie kind of stuff you download it. So it need more space. That much space we cannot store that much big files you cannot store into fat file system. So supporting one is ex fat, ex fat, fat file system. Um, so your SD cards. So maximum ex fat we are using for your SD cards purpose only. Okay. So whenever you purchase a, a memory card like a 64 GB memory card insert into your uh, phone, then it is asked for a format and immediately format into ex fat. Okay. If it is already your your memory card is already format with ex fat, you can store data directly. Okay. So you can you can observe whenever you insert a new memory card into your uh, mobile phone which is more than 32 GB it will ask for a ex fat format. Next type of file system is REFS resilient file system resilient file system use CRC cyclic redundancy check mechanism. OK, so what it is people store a data access the data frequently accessing the data. So data may corrupt it. So this CRC will keep data not to get corrupted or check the data whether it is data is safe or a corrupted. So that is thing. in different operating system like Linux Unix use ext2, ext3, ext4, xfs type of file system. When you share the data from one system to another system, 
that is a sharing of files right sharing of data sharing of data right so there is a, another file system called nfs network file system used for sharing the data or a caifs common internet file system common internet file system that is also sharing of data related only sharing of printer sharing of data sharing related one and also that cafs called as a samba s a m b a samba okay and that short form is smb server message block it is also the words we use while you are sharing the data in different ways of data sharing different device is also having different file system for example dvd udf universal disk format cdfs compact disk format okay like that so different file system different devices or uh, places we have a file system for our file system is fat and ntfs that we are using ntfs file system only so this is about your totally your hard disk hard disk partitions hard disk connections so once um, so what is a hard disk hard disk is is a secondary storage devices non volatile memory storage we can store data into the hard disk okay uh, mainly main of main data is of uh, first of all we store operating system that regular data applications we store operating system applications data means it can be a documents music or a pictures or a video files we store virtual machines we can store okay hard disk contains a, a connector like a hard disk to motherboard connection style is there motherboard to hard disk data transmission purpose connection that is sata pata connections what is sata pata very simple guys you want to transfer the data from your you are connecting from your motherboard to hard disk for data transmission purpose the connection difference the 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 way of <coughs> the mechanism that the logical board and uh, the connector is a sata type pata type pata parallel advanced technology attachment sata serial advanced technology attachment okay what a 40 pin connector like this sort of seven pin connector like this okay so in a hard disk the size of hard disk also there like a 3.5 inches 2.5 inches 3.5 inches is a hard disk uh, is a bigger it is suitable for a desktop purposes 2.5 inches hard disk is a smaller it is suitable for laptop hard disk and also we use external hard disk to store additional data means you downloaded data backup data is there will transfer into hard disk and also to transfer the heavy data for example i download a very important files uh, for example um, uh, some operating system related or some big applications i downloaded it is not suitable in your pen drives like okay, what i will do i have to give to someone or uh, uh, you are downloaded like a uh, one of known person downloaded it it he contains some the material so i want it so i will connect a external hard disk copy into the external hard disk so i will transfer into my pc or i see from the pc okay so when you are having a hard disk in a mainly internal hard disk we will try to create a partition so what is the partition this is logically we are dividing the hard disk space into small separate uh, or a small partitions okay so to while you are doing a partitioning so there is a two partition styles mbr and zpt mbr and zpt partition style so depends upon your system when you are inserting a new hard disk it will ask uh, do you want to create do you want to initialize as mbr or zpt it system will ask directly if you insert a new hard disk separate hard disk fresh hard disk you are inserted you are inserted a fresh hard disk new hard disk system will ask you so you want to initialize as mbr or a zpt for example you take a fresh system so it does not contain any operating system and hard disk is not initialized as a 
the MBRR GPT depends upon your hardware. Like you are using a BIOS, then it is MBR. You are using UEFI plus latest operating system, then it is GPT. Okay. You initialize as MBR, you can create a maximum four primary partitions, or we can say three primary, one extended. In one extended, you can create a multiple logical drives. Each partition support more than two terabytes of the size. Okay. Next type of partition, like you initialize as a GPT. Your hard disk is GPT type of partition table. You can create 128 partitions without any extended or logical partitions. OK, 128 strike partitions we can able to create it. OK, so partition sizes uh, uh, support the each partition size support more than two terabyte up to two terabyte more than two terabyte and up to 18 EB is as some test books. It is showing so one single partition maximum 18 EB. That much of big hard disk we don't have in a generally public purposes. OK. Next, once you are created a partition, you have to store the data to store the data. We have to initialize. So we have to format the drive with the file system. So in Windows, generally we are using FAT and NTFS. In Windows, while you are creating a partitions, while you are creating partition, we will define it's a FAT or a NTFS directly. OK, so again, what is the format defining the file system? So in Windows, we use FAT and NTFS. FAT 32 support maximum partition size is 32 GB. NTFS support up to 2 terabyte and more than 2 terabyte also it will support and means up to 18 EB it support. NTFS having certain features like a security, compression, quota, indexing plus encryption. Security means it is yellow or deny access to the data from other users. Compress the disk to for if you compress the disk you will save more space. So that is a compression option is there. Disk quota means allocate a certain space in the disk to a particular user. So the user can use only that particular partition size only, not entire disk space. Entire drive space he cannot access, only he can able to access the part of hard disk space. Indexing, so data will be indexed so then it can be easily searchable. OK, easy to searchable or a readable data. EXFAT is a different file system that is comes from FAT only. FAT support 32 GB, but if you have a memory card or a pen drive more than 32 GB, like a 64 or 128 or 256, you can use EXFAT because the FAT file system is universally supported compared to NTFS. REFS, resilient file system. REFS, resilient file system. So CRC use CRC cyclic redundancy check algorithm to prevent your data from corruption. Linux and Unix generally use ext, ext2, ext3, ext4, xfs kind of file system. Okay. So while we are sharing the debt through one system and another system, we use a file system called NFS network file system, CFS common internet file system or a Samba file system kind of stuff. SMB means server message block. Even a device is also having a file system. For example, a DVD use a UDF, universal disk format CDUs, CDFS. Okay. So this is entire part of your hard disk. Only one part is left, guys. That is called a SSD. What is SSD? So what sir it is uh, here it is for you I will create one more point here it is. So actually can put it in a hard disk part only but put SSD. What is SSD? Anyone? Uh, 
solid stay dry why today people not at all speaking what happened i'm asking feeling bored no sir no okay, okay. solid stay dry so maybe uh, i will ask sir to i will take a few more days for next week also tomorrow class is there mostly saturday also i will try to put a class so to complete the session okay so otherwise i will take um, next week so at least few days uh, if possible i will take the additional sessions also okay solid state drive what it is this is solid state drive is also called as a nand memory like your uh, memory cards pen drives the data stores in the chips not in the plotter kind of stuff hard disk data stores in plotter okay in a plotter 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 or you can put a hard disk this is the plotter this is the plotter the disk type is plotter okay so plotter stores in the plotter it is stores in the chips ssd the chip kind of stuff not chip 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 yes it's uh, using uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, chip kind of stuff like this so what is the advantage of it it is a very lightweight and not a loose part it is directly soldered okay it is a that's why it is called as a nand memory nand memory uh, nv mv is a common one okay both are non volatile this is also non volatile only non volatile is a non volatile memory next ssds are lightweight is a lightweight so you can carry anywhere you can carry easily you can carry easily not a heavy weight okay we can easily transport you can transport from one place to another place you can transfer if you order ssd no problem no maximum no no physical damage no internal damage physical damage may occur because of uh, any miss uh, improper carry but hard disk how it they carry there is a possibility of internal damage easy to transport okay lightweight easy to transport less power consumption less power consumption consumes less power less space small size okay. so less power consumption small in size one more point like a cost uh, before going to the two points we'll go to it is high speed high speed read and write read and write speed and the data transmission speed like you want to transmit the data suitable for operating system and applications not suitable for not suitable for
storing data data means like uh, you store a movies kind of stuff not sortable not sortable means we can store we can store but ssd is costly okay so better to store the data into better to store the data into your regular hard disk that's why i am checking with the uh, laptops dual system you know that is also came earlier little bit earlier now that is also remote that's because of you know people are always uh, like uh, this laptop that laptop now laptops are ssd you don't have any choice ssd or big ssd like a 240 gb ssd what we will do it 500 GB also not enough for me. I have 1.5 GB plus two additional uh, two terabyte plus one terabyte external hard disk is there. Where I put a data, 240 GB. I'm a kid or what? Your kid also not enough the data. Okay, so it's not good ones. Compulsory laptop of uh, the manufacturer compulsory there for dual memory system. Anyway, they are not giving a uh, CD-ROM. no cd ram no dvd anyway okay so what they have to do it one ssd of course one ssd is important for a operating system and to store the application 240 or 512 second memory like you can insert a second memory either ssd or a internal hard disk we can able to insert like you can open and insert a ram or maybe you can go to service center you can insert a new hard disk then you can store that like i need a lot of virtual machines i need to show show the practicals right so in generally uh, if now we are not showing but in generally i have to show the practicals i have to store the virtual machines virtual machines not we cannot store always in the external hard disk because again we have to connect it, data transmission through external hard disk to system through usb then usb port become very busy very lot of speed of data transmission is that one so that's not good what i need i need to store internally but i can't store internally to the ssd because each virtual machine size is more than 30 gb 40 gb 50 gb virtual machines also there from 2 gb virtual machine to 30 gb virtual machine is also there for okay more than 30 gb virtual machines also there and i i may have to require to store the my gaming data right so gaming applications are there applications are there download data are there okay we can't use just like a, a something uh, fashionly people increasing the cost of laptop by adding some additional points but the it is not at all worthable who want a alexa in your laptop we don't require alexa in your laptop that much of uh, smartness is not required there. we need a hardware as a as a for a main hardware purpose not a smartness that is a nonsense that is a nonsense alexa in the laptop even when i purchase my wifi router sir sorry my printer i purchase one printer it cost me 14000 so and then later i see that so why it is 14000 uh, i want uh, this is enough like a 10 or 11 is a common price but why it become 14000 it is the point is it contains a google home and uh, alexa compatible why we need it so i will take a print out whether i will give a voice command take a print out get a print out switch on switch off <laughs> okay we don't do it right so smartness become madness now it is okay people showing that is a smartness that is not okay so yeah sorry uh, not sorry guys it is very important to notify guys ssds are too much costly ssds are for easy to storage it is faster it is agreeable but still ssd is only better for operating system and application even you take a server server machine you take in a server 
the server contains a hard disk. OK, server use server inside a server means you have, you have taken a blade server. Server contains a hard disk. Later on days, now the server having SSDs. What is the use of SSD there? That is also for server operating system, server applications purpose only. Not to store the any data. The data will store separate drives. OK, so that is the importance of SSD, but. That is that's the point. OK, it is a costly. The cost is there like a 240. 250 GB SSD. 250 GB SSD almost equal to one terabyte of hard disk. The cost wise. Cost wise both are equal. OK, so that's the point guys what I'm trying to say. OK, so this is about your solid state drive. Of course, I have to put a two hard day, uh, SSDs, right? So one is um, yeah, like this. Uh, hard disk SSDs. So we'll go to images. Uh, here also we have a, a hard disk. Uh, sorry. OK, so this is. A NVMe type. I can put here. I can put here, but I will put here on. OK, this is NVMe type. Uh, normal hard disk. This is a normal hard disk. Okay. So sorry, normal SSD that is. Um, one second, I will copy this one also. Yeah. yeah okay. We can make it as a next. If you if I got a very closer picture, that is good. If I don't, uh, OK. Mm, so what I'm searching? Yeah, this is the SSD. The so internal parts of SSD it is. So it's like a chip type. It is showing here. So why we need? I need a more normal uh, SATA interface at this. This is also a small picture. Yeah, this is look good. Yeah, this is we got bigger, but this is we got a smaller. Okay. We need a visibility range, but so can of all them. Guys, in this SSD is nowadays we are having a a SSD is a already we know that NAND and A and D NAND memories SATA SSDs. OK, second type is this type. What it is NAND memories. It is SSD NV MV. M dot two SSD. Okay, so this is the faster. So I said it is faster means read and write wise faster than SATA SSD. It is faster than a SATA SSD. Of course, cost is there. Faster than a. SATA SSD. 
okay of course fast than normal as at a hard disk but it's costlier than a fast sd hmm. it you can insert into insert on motherboard actually into motherboard on motherboard or into motherboard into motherboard also correct into motherboard like um, ram cpu how we are inserting and inserting into motherboard like a ram are Uh, like you see we can directly connect we can we can just connect this is we are connecting to at a uh, interface Okay, we are connecting to SATA interface on motherboard. Like using cable, if it is a desktop, using cable, if it is laptop, direct connection is there. We are connecting. So that's a very simple. But it is directly we are inserting. That is also increases the speed. Increases the speed. Okay. So usually I have a data that is how much speed of that one and all uh, we got a data of it. Um, now I am not concentrating on that one now. You can get that information easily guys once you are going like you go to this. You see it is 2400 uh, two MB uh, uh, speed it is like this you can go to this. OK, so what is the data uh, transmission speed you will get it NVMV like this. See it is direct connector. You can directly connect to the hard disk like see it is. You can see. This is directly connected on motherboard. You can directly insert on motherboard. OK, not like a regular hard disk. You can see it is read and write. Read and write. Speed. <laughs> yeah, we will increase that. Read and write. So read speed, and this is the write speed. This is read speed. This is the write speed. Okay. So this read and write speed is different. So if you take a normal hard disk or any like this, I will take some crucial. Okay, like this. So it is a normal hard disk. You see, it is SATA interface. So you can see this is a basic like a, your hard disk SATA interface. Okay, SATA interface only, and uh, if you find. Uh, this is a SATA interface 2.5 inches. OK, uh, read and write. The speed is this one. OK, so when you are thinking about a SATA. Sorry, when you are thinking about a, uh, using SSD guys, like you are uh, any SSD conversions. OK, so better to use this SSD because it is a faster. OK, so see it is comparison. So compared to normal SATA hard disk SSD is faster. OK, but compared to N M dot to this SATA SSD is slower. OK, this is about your SSD. That's it for today. Because time's up, we cannot do anything. So I told a lot of things or uh, I think I didn't waste any time. 
by giving any unnecessary data also didn't given but it took uh, taken a lot of time i think uh, guys are uh, good with the hardware components cpu ram rom bios uh, motherboard hard disk cd uh, hard disk ssds partitions mbr gpt okay with that one up to now 